What's up guys and welcome back or to this winter wonderland here. Um, it hasn't snowed at all like this this season until today and now we have a mess. Look at how deep this is on the Hellcat. That's just um, absolutely insane. Um, that's a lot and a lot of snow. It's actually quite like beautiful out here I love like blue skies and the snow I actually get a picture of this for Instagram, but today we have a lot of stuff to do um, My fuel ring came in for our fuel pump. We got our headers to do which is I'm honestly dreading it I don't want to get through and do all that. It seems like a lot of work and if something goes wrong I kind of don't want to deal with it, but we're gonna dig into that today I got to find the keys to this truck. So today. Oh my god. I, why do I live here? Why do I live here? We got lots of stuff to do, but first, I, we're right now, we're working on orders for the, the decals and all the other stuff, the shirts, and we still got beanies, and a bunch of other stuff in stock. The hoodies should be in stock this week. I know I'm not wearing mine right now, but about to get dirty in the garage here. Hoodies will be back in stock, honestly. I honestly think hoodies will be in stock when this video is live, so check the website. We have a huge order of the black hoodies back. We have another variant coming. I had to special order. Those will be here a few days later. Um, those are super sweet. I love those. Um, they're coming. Check those out when those come in as well. But right now, because we're dealing with orders and stuff, I am running to Home Depot to get some organization, organizational tools because we got lots of um, products and stickers and everything everywhere. So Katie's upstairs packing and um, cutting the stickers out and I'm gonna run to Home Depot and get some stuff so we can organize it all. Yeah, I'm using a shop broom at me. Ugh. Oh, remote start. Wonderful, wonderful feature. If you guys didn't see that video a while ago, I put a remote start on uh, Katie's F-150 here. Best, best thing. I probably have done. Oh, that's what else showed up. Our welder is here. So our welder is here so we can do our body work now. All right, we got a new helmet here, a new welding helmet. Um, all from Eastwood, of course. What else? I'm not sure, but we're gonna have to run uh, a few places this week. You'll see in the videos. Paint color. There's two ways I can do this. I can show you a budget paint job that still looks so like good, or I could also show you a actual paint job, but I don't know if I could get the color I want. So we'll see. We're gonna have to run over to the Eastwood store this week too. And I'm gonna pick up some body filler because honestly, I just want to get this red truck done literally for days like today Because that vehicle was supposed to be four days like today And I wanted to complete the whole project before something like this would happen, but it just hasn't I just really need to get the body work done so I could get this truck painted and then even if even if it's not lifted yet That's absolutely fine. But once it's like done and painted we can we can go from there Oh, all right guys got our little stuff from Home Depot and all of that it's upstairs working on orders We got so many boxes while I was gone first things first I need to cure these headers now You're supposed to bake them at like 200 for this many minutes and then this for this many minutes and this for this many minutes um, Here's a trick that a lot of people I saw somebody else do on the internet You literally put a heat gun in a box and then I mean this vent could be bigger on this side but I'm gonna vent over here and it'll cook them and kind of heat them up and let that paint cure and over here We got so many boxes. We've got two more boxes from banks power this right here down here Something special, but that is something for our big green ram outside She's gonna be getting some love soon and then in here. I'll let you open this now Yes Oh yes guys, here we go. If you guys saw my SEMA video, this is the new Banks iDash. This is their all-in-one monitoring system for pretty much almost any vehicle. So we have one for our Ram and we have one for our Hellcat. That is absolutely unreal. Um, I can't wait to get both of those installed. So that's gonna be exciting. So we got stuff for our Hellcat and we have stuff for our Ram and on top of that, if you guys know what could be in this size box here, we're gonna be bringing some more air to that ram out there. <laughs> ah, it sucks. I want to put it on now, but it's so snowy and so cold, and the truck doesn't fit in this garage. Yeah, so once it like melts a little bit, and we'll get on that. Next box is our box from Amazon. Let's unbox this. This. Oh yeah, that's something neat. This is. Oh baby. Look at what we have here. Our brand new blocking ring for our uh, fuel pump. So that will be awesome. Oh yeah, what I could have used the other day. Short story short, this is a fuel, a fuel pump lock ring tool. So what would have been useful right here, as you can see, we'll go into those two rings. I'm gonna check on those headers in a minute, I'm smelling them. Those two rings 
and then this right here and it'll twist it on and twist it off as well also yeah look at this this is just i can't believe the thing even runs like this this is like completely rusted out so that's what we're gonna knock out first we're gonna knock this fuel pump out and try and take at least the passenger side headers off i know it's gonna be a process and i know it's gonna be a pain we gotta get it done so i'm gonna take those off today as well and we're gonna get our fuel pump swapped so we took our heat gun out of the box we're letting these cool down. It's like super hot in here. Let it cool down, let it harden up again. Repeat the process. It literally says it on the back of the thing here. So we're gonna do that. Okay, so our rusty but trusty fuel pump successfully let uh, one out of three fuel lines loose without um, damage. This one just broke off. I can't even get the retainer off of that one. This one just completely snapped off it, and I can't even grip pliers or anything in there to break this loose and um, remove the barbed fitting from there but i'm gonna clean this area up and i can at least get our new fuel pump in and all locked down and stuff and then when our new fittings come uh nothing ever goes as planned ever ever that's why i'm so hesitant to start on these headers because i don't want to create a bigger problem than it is but um yeah let's let's get this all clean and get our new pump in stiff to get out but uh look at that we have a full tank all 30 gallons i'm going to carefully carefully clean this area make sure we don't get any rust or particles in the tank because that is not or would not be good and then we're gonna get our new o-ring in there we'll put our new pump back in Okay guys, and there we have it. We got our new fuel pump and our new lock ring installed. So this is gonna be crispy for the next, or whoever does this next if they need to. We're gonna use our new tool here, which is somewhere, aha, here, to install it because why not? I spent $25 on the tool, might as well use it. Uh, it goes in just like that one on each side. I'll use the torque wrench because that's absolutely fine. All we're gonna do, and lock it in. Boy, that would have been a heck of a lot easier to get that out if I uh, had that tool the first time, but I didn't. On the hunt for new fittings, if anyone knows these size, uh, I'll probably Google it by now, but this size, this barb, and this barb, and whatever fittings these are, because I'm definitely gonna need to uh, replace them, or if I could get this whole line from Chevy or something, that'd be ideal. This one oh, can be reconnected just like this, lock it on, and as can these connectors like that, and like that. Whew. All right, with that done, we should be good on our second cycle in here. Oh yeah, this box is steaming hot gonna make your own little oven oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah let's see what we can do under the hood here the greatest success of the day pulling out the factory dipstick without it breaking off um i'm gonna see how much a new one is just because you might as well if it's already out just just precautionary always because you know what these are prone to breaking i mean it's not that close we'll see how much it is if it's expensive no if it's cheap why not
I kind of want to see though if I mock up the headers in here if I'll be able to reach the spark plugs or not if I can't I will most definitely just um, take the other side of the headers off and get the spark plugs coming and hopefully be and hopefully they'll be here tomorrow actually wasn't as hard as I thought and very very thankful that this did not break off all right so honestly I'm intrigued here on these spark plugs so I'm just gonna take a look and see how they actually look here Here's the plug that came out. It doesn't look all that crazy awful. Like 70 bucks in new plugs is definitely worth the money when you literally have complete and easy access to everything at the moment. You might as well just do it while you're in here. Eight extra bolts to take out. But if you get it done, um, it'll just save, your, save you a headache later on. Guys, that was the utmost, greatest, biggest, whatever, nightmare. Actually, it wasn't that bad, but it was. Some of you were gonna get probably mad, but here's how I viewed this. I honestly do not have the time to sit there and just deal with what happened. We can fix it in an easier and better way than me spending a bunch of time messing with it. Well, you look, I cut the exhaust pipe. Yeah, I had to. Um, what happened is this stud and this stud, which is now missing because I was honestly going to just try and cut this off on the truck. Um, this one seized up. It just, just seized up. It didn't come off and it started stripping the, the nut itself. Same thing with this one. This one just seized up, started stripping the nut. I got both of these things glowing red hot and I used breaker bar and everything and they just did not did not come loose. There was our problem there. So now what we have is stock exhaust manifold and we've got the down pipe, I guess, to the whatever. And I took the O2 sensor out. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna at least come out here uh, tomorrow or whenever, knock these off, drill this out, and we will weld our exhaust pipe back on. It was just unreal. There's no space up there. The torsion bar is in the way. I took the drive shaft off. That's still in the way. There's nowhere to get anything up there. You can't get a ratchet through the wheel well to get this. It's honestly a mess. So if your extension and either your breaker bar or impact does not bust these nuts loose, it just drove me wild. I was spending, I honestly want to be done with this by four o'clock and it's almost six. Uh, I was messing with this for two hours trying to get two nuts off and I just had it. Absolutely had it. So I cut this and we will just weld this back together with our new Eastwood welder. No problem. So guys, if you haven't been here before, please get down there and click subscribe. <laughs> so the exhaust is fine. We'll weld it back together. It's just good. Just like a normal weld on an exhaust. Hopefully we'll have all of the motor stuff buttoned up in next video because we should. Everything should be good to go at that point. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.